Hello everyday and welcome to week one of the LGL. My name is ODF, I'm the coach of your Cambridge Wildcat Bees in their first ever, their inaugural match. I don't know if I'm using the word inaugural right there, I think I am, and we're just going to assume I am because no one's going to stop me. Today we are up against Thief Yi and their team, the Florida Phalanx, Phalanx. Um, great Pokemon and, you know, a great place to name a team after. For those of you who, this is your first video of mine you've seen, um, I have a different team called the Florida Flygons, who is a superior Florida-based team, but you know the Phalanx, I'm sure they're up there. But behind us, um, this is my first ever time doing a Little Cup League, and our first ever time using this team, so a lot of firsts. Um, before I get into anything, you should probably know I'm not the best draft league battler in the world. Um, in the last season I did the NDBL, I went 3 and 6 throughout the whole 9 week season, and I did not make playoffs, sadly. So if you're watching that series right now, I spoiled it for you, but it should have been quite obvious by the length of the playlist. And um, I'm very excited for this league because this is going to be an all new experience. Um, I'm excited. My aim is to clinch playoffs and to get a few wins. Like, I don't want to go 0 and 13 this whole season. Um, the top 12 teams out of 14 make playoffs, so I think we've got a pretty solid chance. But I finished dead last in leagues before, so I'm not going to jinx it. There's a very good chance, knock on wood, that I am going to lose. Wait, I, think, I don't think I was meant to knock on wood there. You know what? Never mind. Let's hop into breaking down their team. Um, I don't have time during this breakdown to properly go through um, their whole team like with pictures and all, be, but that might come in next week. Um, you should be hearing music though, if I manage to find some nice royalty for music. If you're not hearing that, that's just embarrassing for me, not for you obviously. So let's go to their team. First up, they drafted Abba, who is famously a glass cannon. It is incredibly fast and hits incredibly hard, but it cannot take a hit to save its life. And if you can hit it twice um, to get rid of a focus sash, you can probably KO it. Uh, I don't know too much about Jarflix, so I'm just going to go through these quite quickly. Tyrant, and um, they traded around a lot of people on the team to get Tyrant, which massacred the rest of the team, apparently, according to um, Ribombi's team builder. Not team builder. Power rank. Um, apparently, they massacred the team. I wouldn't know, but Tyrant is a solid Pokemon. Um, I do love Tyrant Trim, it's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Um, it's a rock ground type, it hits very, very hard, it can move quite fast, but I've got, which is why I had to bring like three Pokemon, four Pokemon that can take it out. Um, Aaron is just a steel rock type, so for quad week to fighting and ground, I'm not too scared about that thing, because I've got both a fighting and a ground type. Darumaka, there's no way Darumaka Galarian form is going to come. If you look at my team, five, no, four out of my six Pokemon can hit it super effectively, and I could have well easily have bought six Pokemon that could take that thing out. I don't think we're going to be seeing it. Budu is a solid grass type that can set up like poison powders, um, paralyze people, but it can't do that much damage offensively. Horsey, I have bad memories about Kingdra from the NTBL, um, so I'm going to be very careful about this thing. Nidoran, a female, has that poison hyping, which is actually, it's probably the main reason I didn't bring Spritzy this week, because um, I don't think Spritzy worked too well, especially against that Nidoran. Sveal is an incredibly bulky, hit quite hard Pokemon, um, but it is an ice type, and all ice types suck. Apart from Manny, the Swiner, they're amazing. Pichu, you've got to draft an electric type in Draft League, and this is just for theirs. Uh, I don't know how good a Pokemon it is, it's a baby form, so I'm not. I did draft a baby form myself, but my baby form is better than their baby form. Sizzlipede is the Pokemon I'm certain is coming. That thing doesn't have the best moveset, but it can hit quite hard, and I'm terrified of it. Uh, and I very much doubt that they won't bring it. They've got Spylash and Bug type moves, so it does have that 4 times weakness to rock. So if I can get rid of its items and set up Stealth Rocks, then I could destroy it. But, or vastly cripple it, but I don't wanna, I need to be wary of it. 
Wubat is a very good defogger, it is a fast psychic type which is terrifying like Abra, um, but it can't take too many hits. And finally Morlel, you've got to draft a fairy, they're the most important type. Not a great fairy with that 4 times weakness to poison, um, but it still is just a Pokemon out there that, that you've got to be wary of. That's their team, let's break down ours. First of all is Flat the Pharaoh Seed. Um, I'm, ve I'm very proud of this nickname so I'm going to explain it to you. There are these balls, I don't know if they're in the rest of the world, I know they're in the UK. And you can compress them into a frisbee and throw them, or you can have them as a regular ball and throw it. And I'm always terrified of the ball because I, I'm scared I'm going to get my fingers stuck in it when it turns into a regular ball and I have my fingers chopped off. It's not strong enough to actually chop off my fingers. That would be bad, but it just ferro seeds and ferro thorns design kind of reminds me of that. Look up flat balls and actually, maybe don't. That might lead to some problems. But you know, look it up at your own risk. Um, we're carrying leftovers, or iron barbs. Um, I've gone gyro ball is hits harder when you are slower than your opponent. I've made this thing the slowest possible Pokemon. Um, so Giant Ball can do quite a bit of damage. I'm carrying Leech Seed and Giga Drain to really take HP from the opponents and Stealth Rock because I would very much like to get my Stealth Rocks up. I've brought two Pokemon with Stealth Rocks because if I can get Stealth Rocks up, um, it hurts quite a bit of their team and that's very, very nice, like breaking focus sessions and stuff like that. Next up is Protag the Tyrogue. Um, uh, this is my first time using a lot of these Pokemon. So a lot of these sets that I bought, I didn't have too much time to prepare as well. Don't love our odds of this game, I'm gonna try my best. But it's the week one, I have yet to win the first week of a league ever. And I've only been in two weeks, but it is what it is. Um, I'm not quoting Donald Trump there, he's quoting me. Well, we've got Flame Orb Guts, which works very well on my champ. I don't know how well it'll work here. Not Rain Dance, um, a Rapid Spin. We only draft with one Rapid Spinner, so Pro Tag the Tyro. Get ready to see this thing every single week. <laughs> High jump kick can hit incredibly hard if it hits. If it does miss, we lose 50% of HP and the match. Fake Out is there to get, break some focus sashes, and finally Rockside is there for things like Woobat and Sizzlepeed. Next up is Phobos, the Dupire. Named at Phobos after the Greek god um, Phobos, which is the god of fear. And I just think if you're gonna name a spider something, you've got to name that. Also, Smogon and Showdown gave me a really good EV set for it, and I think that might be the actual God Phobos coming in, so there's that. Evilite is there, Water Bubble means we take half damage from fire type moves, which we were already neutral to, so that's nice. Um, Skull is there to get that burn damage, Bug Buzz, Sticky Web is there to just lay that up on the field because they don't have great defog apart from Wubat. And finally, Ice Beam is there to hit Wubat. So set up the Sticky Web, they switch to Wubat, we smack him with an Ice Beam. Next up is Nayum the Dreepy. Um, this thing is a set that I'm just, I am flying by the seat of my pants with this set, guys. I have no idea what's going on. Um, this thing gets no moves. No moves at all. I got Salad Berry because that felt right. Cursed Body because that worked really well on Steamy in the MDBL. Um, Dragon Tail, just a physical dragon type move. Thunder Wave and Quick Attack and Sucker Punch for some speed control. Maybe. It seems to be a quite fast Pokemon with that base 82 speed. So I guess it's good. Maybe. This is either going to be like the come from behind great plot twist set ever or it's gonna fall flat on its face. There's no in between. There might be in between. There's no in between. Next up is Genie the Vulpix. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the Vulpix line. It's kind of dropped down on my estimation of dog type Pokemon. Um, it's still better than Mightyena who sucks, but Vulpix... Yeah. Flash Fire so we can absorb those fire type moves. Expert Belt Will-O-Wisp so we can burn some hard hitting physical attackers. Fire Blast is there just to constantly hit um, just as stab. Energy Ball is there because Sveal and Horsey, they're two best swappings here. Both are destroyed by that. And Quick Attack is there for that priority. I'm not even going to talk about the EVs because they're so obvious. Um, Ice Wind 252, 252, 4. That's it. Finally, we just finished up the NDBL where we had a Mammoth Swine called Manny. 
Manny has turned into a baby and is back. Um, I'm gonna make a thick fat and all that. Um, Return of the King. This is my first time using a Pokemon of the same evolution line in League. In two separate leagues. Because I have hardly been in any. Um, Stealth Rock Freeze Dry for those Spheels and Horses who don't want to switch in on us. Super Power for um, Tyrant. And finally, Earthquake just for that stab Earthquake. There we go, that's the team. Normally, at the end of the team builder, I say, let's fly Flygons, but we aren't the board of Flygons this season, so let's crawl Caterpies. See in the match. Okay, we're in the match. Um, they brought Tyrant, they brought Aaron, they brought Sizzlepeed, they brought the Pichu, they brought Wubat. So, I kind of predicted quite a bit of what they were doing. Um, I think Manny's a very solid lead here because it is good against pretty much the entirety of the team, apart from that Morlo. And um, I just feel like beating, like that Morlo, if I can get it, Manny just kind of wrecks them. <laughs> Um, yeah. Just waiting for them to start. I hope my Wi-Fi doesn't kill me now. Wait till I get home. Wait, I am home. Okay, well, that sucks. I'm rethinking. Um. I do have chat on the side here. I've decided just to block it all in case people swear, because it's far easier to just block it at the start. Well, I can see it, you guys can't. I block it in post, but it is what it is. Out comes the Aeron. Um, I would like to Earthquake here, is there any reason not to? LC Rock Polish versus a Swine Up. We outspeed. Yep. And unless they're running sturdy, I'm just gonna earthquake. We get the one shot. Very nice. Um, okay, so that's that Aaron gone. That definitely ups. Um, I think it's Ferro Seed's viability. Honestly, I didn't really have- I didn't bring any mons that were particularly weak to your boy, Aeon. I also didn't bring much to counter this little flying pest. Ooh, it's a nasty plot sweeper. It has a chance to Oko. So yeah, I'm gonna swap out into... Oh wait. I don't have much to hurt this thing. If I freeze dry, how much will that do? Seventy-five percent. Yeah, that's fine. Heat wave. We live. We're gonna get that freeze dry. That is a incredibly bulky woo bat right there. Okay, they're gonna go for that again. I'm gonna go into Genie here. I'm gonna get that flash fire. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm gonna predict switching probably that Tyrant. So, uh, I would like to Will O Wisp right now. I don't think Fire Blast is the right play. I don't think this thing's gonna stay in. Okay, we're gonna burn Bat. They're gonna they're gonna slash our little boy. That's fine. Um, we've burned it, and we know it is very specially bulky. Um, but we can do quite a bit of damage to Fire Blast if it hit KOs, if it hits. It's faster than me! It was a speed tie! It was a speed tie. Oh no. That sucks, because I kind of needed that Vulpix for later. Okay, out into this thing. I'm going to presume it's quite fast. I kind of want to 
want to set up cell clocks here, but I also just want to hurt it. I think I need to gyro ball here because it's doing quite a bit of damage to the team. It has heat wave, what am I doing? What was that, Owen? was the first move that they brought out against us. And I choked. Okay, Naeem, um, this isn't done yet. I've got a sucker punch. Naeem, time to pull this one back. Um, we've got Swineub, and Swineub can hit everything on their team super effectively. But, ugh. <coughs> In comes this thing. Base 15 speed. Or base 17 speed. Okay, this thing get, does get Dragon Dance. Okay, say we are running Dragon Tail. What level did you give me this GP at? Because I feel like it wouldn't really do 6,000%. Um, just, just out of personal experience. I am going to Dragon Tail though. I'm running the Salic Berry. I don't remember what that does. Okay, yeah, the Dragon Dance, so I made the right play. In comes the Pichu. Um, okay, so Pichu, does Pichu have a set here? This thing can't really do much to me, but I would like to know if Pichu can get like a fairy type move or something. Um, I made a very good play there, and I'm proud of that, but we choked not with flat. What moves do you get? Nasty plot. They do get play rough. Oh, it's a random one, though. So I'm just gonna Dragon Tail here. Actually, I don't want a Dragon Tail. I'd like to switch hand to Manny. Okay. Um. Okay, that's not good. Into Phobos. Phobos, you're gonna have to take some hits. Bug Buzz does 90%. Ooh, that does so much. Yeah, I don't think Protag and Nayum can win this. Into Nayum. Got a sucker punch. So much. Berry juice! Oh no! Protag! It is time, my guy. They said it could not be done. You utterly sweeping an entire team. It's time to see. I'm just gonna have to high jump kick here. That's a game! Ooh, that was pathetic! It's because I choked with, um, Ferrothorn there. Um, so, I am going to go to bed. I'm very tired. Well played to my opponent there. Um, you will be seeing this video a day after on the 4th, I think. I don't know what day it is. I think it's the 3rd. It's probably the 3rd. Please go. Um, 
yeah, I hope this thing continues because I'm having a lot of fun with it. That was my first ever World Cup match. I've never won the first match in the league I've ever been in, so... I didn't think this was going to be any different. But, you know what? We tried, and we failed miserably. We ultimately didn't have anything to kill the Pikachu, and we needed to keep Swine up alive. Next week might be a bit better. Anyway, I hope you all have a dog today. I'll see you all in the next one, and ODF out. Goodbye.